We're enjoying some more spring skiing out here in the Rocky Mountains and Beaver Creek. They do close this weekend, so get out here before it's all said and done. And one thing that's going to happen before it's all said and done is our last show for the winter season at the Villar Performing Arts Center. So Let's Sing Taylor is the show that you won't want to miss on Friday night. If you love the music of this pop icon, well, you can sing along to it. 7 p.m. is when the band is going to perform, so get your tickets for this. It should be an awesome show. Also this weekend, TEDx Veil vale Youth. Now this is going to be happening on Sunday and this is an event organized by the youth and is performed by the youth as well. So great topics, what's concerning youth these days, so that should be a lot of fun. And then Skating Club of Vail is offering their skating show, their Ice Spectacular. So check that out at the Dobson Ice Arena this weekend as well. But right now, let's take it over to Ken Hope who's in balmy Florida this spring. Thank you, Tricia. Yes, I decided to sneak away from the mountains for a quick getaway down to Florida. I'm actually in Flagler Beach, Florida, and trading in the snow for some sunshine, some surf, and some sand. But I do know the details on what's going on up on the mountain. Now, although Vail has not received any new snow in the past 24 hours from Tuesday into Wednesday, they have had snow in the past seven days. Seven inches has fallen on Vail Mountain over the past week. That brings their season total to 200 and 91 inches and they're skiing and riding on a 66 inch settled base now over at beaver creek they did receive some snow from tuesday into wednesday they picked up an inch and they've also had nine inches in the past week that brings their season total to 287 inches and they are on a 67 inch settled base they have six lifts in operation and 25 trails so a lot of terrain is starting to be closed on both vale and beaver creek mountains we're going to take it back to trisha swenson as she has the details on the terrain that remains open and what's being closed. Tricia? That's right, Ken. As we enter into the end of the season for both Vail and Beaver Creek, we're seeing seasonal closures on both mountains. So over at Vail, they did close down Blue Sky Basin as well as China Bowl, Siberia Bowl, Inner and Outer Mongolia Bowls. We still have Tier 5, High Noon Express accessing Sun Up and Sundown Bowls. Game Creek Bowl is open for you and most of the front side. Over here at Beaver Creek, we said goodbye to Arrowhead and Bachelor Gulch last weekend and also the West hillside we still have the front side and the main mountain open for you hay meadow express for the beginner runs we've got cinch express rose bowl and of course centennial right behind us that's a look at what's happening in the vale valley this weekend get out and enjoy it